So the thing is, how we learn flamenco by ear or reading music or reading notation, how we do? Well, our approach is to first play and then know, first of all. And there is no need to, to read musical notation. By the time you learn to, to read that, it will come the Fifth World War. So there is no need. And also, because Paco's approach was an approach based on ear, you know, he didn't study theory, for us the important aspect is playing. But we also need to know some theory. He said that as well, this Paco said that, of course. Because why? If we have that, then we will be able to use it. In theory, there is no difference between practice and theory. But in practice there is, because when we need to do the thing, then we have to see how even we are to apply it. Otherwise, this is it's just a, a mental thing theorizing about. This is tough. The Peñas and some kids, uh, people around in the flamenco circles, in these narrow flamenco circles, like to do that. With, with flamenco theorizing about the parvos and the styles, and this is Soleá, the Alcalá, this is this, is that. But really it's useless, because first of all, they don't know what they are talking about. And second, uh, to, to understand the palos properly, and what was the change that Paco did with that, because, of course, nowadays, where is the, the players doing petenera or this stuff? There is not such a thing, or even Farouk or other styles. Uh, uh, it seems that, that were lost. So anyway, the thing is that our approach should be very organic approach. Therefore, if it's necessary, then we may read some tabs, but here, careful. There is another misunderstanding about this tab subject, because uh, there is a tendency to believe that the tabs will solution the problem. And guess what? The tabs we have is much more practical, actually. I, when I went to Canada many years ago, first to teach there also in the conservatory, they asked me if I can also give tabs. I didn't know how to write them because uh, I know how to read musical notation because I did the career of classical guitar when I was a teenager. But I never used this thing for flamenco because our approach should be from the point of view of sound. We want to have to learn from the sound, not from the theory, but from the sound point of view. And then theory will make sense when applied properly. A un músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien, Pablo. Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.